Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazarov's chess channel and welcome to my advanced chess theory. Today I wanted to start another opening for you while playing against d4. So today I wanted to show you this hyper accelerated uh, Dragon Sicilian defense uh, from Black's perspective. And of course I already showed you this uh, King's Indian against d4. So today I wanted to, uh, to show you a nice weapon while playing against e4. So in order to show you the hi this hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian, I really must uh, first show you this common dragon Sicilian. So uh, the next stage will be the, the accelerated uh, dragon Sicilian defense. And the next stage will be this hyper accelerated uh, dragon Sicilian. You see in the differences of, of their names, well, it's uh, this hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian, it's uh, more accelerated uh, it's this more more accelerated uh, development of the bishop, so this fianchetta of the bishop. So let's see this uh, common dragon Sicilian. We have here e4, uh, c5, knight on f3, uh, d6, and this d6 is uh, well. I want you really to memorize this move because in this hyper accelerated uh, dragon Sicilian, we won't play this move d6. We avoiding avoiding this d6. In a couple of, of occasions you will play this d6, but basically without playing this d6 we are avoiding uh, this Yugoslav attack that I'm going to show you now this opening line and which is very, very, a very aggressive line for white and for black and it gets so dynamic, there are so many tactical shots that I uh, recommend you if you have started to play chess to avoid this Dragon Sicilian. So we have here d4 uh, c takes d4, knight takes on d4, knight on f6, knight on c3, of course it's still common theory, and now comes this dragon Sicilian, uh, g6. We have bishop to a3, bishop to d7, and now comes f3. We have here knight on c6, uh, queen to d2, and castling. So this is now the setup of the Yugoslav attack. You see white is preparing here uh, queenside castle. And play the move h4, g4, and stuff like that. Maybe h5 to somehow break break your uh, break your pawn structure around your king, and maybe play bishop to h6, uh, trade this uh, bishop out, out, and try to mate you maybe through the h file. So here, uh, bishop to c4, uh, bishop to d7, and now we, uh, white plays immediately this attack h4. It's just one of million possible lines in, in this dragon Sicilian. So uh, h5. Now comes castling and uh, knight on e5. Uh, of course, ch challenging the bishop. Uh, bishop to b3, and we have here rook to c8. And this is now a position that was played um, in in 2014 between Sergei Karakin and Magnus Carlsen. And why I'm recommending it uh, to you to avoid this line when you start to uh, to play uh, chess because you see this game will get so dynamic with many uh, tactical shots and this game ended in a draw so no one has had a one and uh, you see so much uh, so much trouble for a draw I don't think it's it's uh, recommendable so here Karyakin played bishop to g5 he challenges this knight uh, here on f6 which is uh, protecting this h5 so you see uh, he wants to play g4 and then take the knight out which is the protector here on, on this h h5 and then maybe uh, here take on h5 and somehow open the, the g file for the rook which would be then a deadly attack uh, on the king so here uh, magnus carlsen played rook to c5 still common theory but uh, you see if you if you uh, wouldn't know this move that uh, rook on c5 you will you will crush very very easily so you see who will find this uh, such moves if you don't this opening theory of this of this opening so we have rook uh, king to b1 improvement of the king of course and we have here rook to e8 now comes bishop to h6 uh, again this idea just uh, trading the bishops and somehow open the position even uh, with the pawn sacrifice so we have here now uh, a5 uh, a4 also blocking out here uh, here is the same situation we're blocking uh, each other's uh, attacks on 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 this opposite side attacks uh, and now magnus carlson plays uh, here this move queen to b6 and now uh, the thing uh, the, the things go wild here because karyakin plays g4 immediately 
you see although this g4 square is four times protected here by this pawn by this knight by this this knight and by this bishop uh Karya can place g4 anyway and he wants uh, he wants to open the position as far as possible so we have here a rook sacrifice by uh magnus carlson rook takes on c3 and uh, here of course it's not good uh, to take with the queen bit because it will get uh, in into the attack of this bishop so here uh, karyakin took with the b pawn uh, and here we have another sacrifice by magnus carlsen uh, knight takes on uh, f f3 knight takes on f3 of course we have here now knight takes on uh, e4 attacking the queen uh, queen to d3 and we have here uh, knight on c3 attacking the king and the rook so here uh, karyakin played king to c1 and we have here taking the bishop on on h6 now comes uh, bish uh, knight on g5 and uh, this is now a position uh, which is evaluated by by uh, well 0, 0.0 uh, by the computer so now it's sort of a, a drawish position but you see so much trouble for a, for a drawing position so this uh, this game was really wild and uh, you see how it gets complex in the middle game and i want you simply to avoid it so um, let's see now this accelerated uh, dragon sicilian uh, this accelerated dragon sicilian after e4 uh, c5 we have knight on f3 and uh, we have here maybe knight on c6 by by black he uh, he doesn't want to play this move d6 so now your opponent can play in this sort of um, attack uh, of course you cannot play now knight on d4 because uh, knight takes on d4 and after c takes d4 uh, we would then have here double pawns on on the d file so and uh, this d4 would really be an object of uh, white's attack then after that you would probably have to support it with with e5 and uh, uh, of course uh, to create maybe sort of a blockade here with d6 but while doing that you will leave here this d uh, d5 weak and uh, if you play some, maybe something as h uh, a6 to challenging the bishop your opponent will simply take the knight and uh, after b takes on c6 white simply casting and if you go now in this hyper in this accelerated uh, dragon sicilian you see it's not it's not easy for you somehow create here uh, an attack because your opponent can also block you out here so this c5 is now a simply target of of white's attack uh, so oh, i not recommended you to play maybe in this sort of line so let's see now this line that i wanted to show you and this will be our subject uh in the next uh, couple of videos of this hyper accelerated dragon sicilian so this will be our our main theme and it goes a little bit different so we have here an e4 c5 knight on f3 and we don't play with our knights so far we play the move g6 and today I wanted to show you a game. Uh, it was played by Andrei Kovalev and Vladimir Tukmakov. Tukmakov with the black pieces and Vladimir Tukmakov uh, is now 75 year old, uh, top grandmaster from the Ukraine. And uh, here he plays this G6. You see, this is the hyper accelerated Dragon Sicilian setup here. We don't play with our knight. We, we are not allowing here uh, the bishop to go on the attack on, uh, on the knight uh, through b5. And uh, today our line will be after d4, uh, c takes d4, now if the queen takes on d4. So the next couple of videos will be about this line with queen to d4. Uh, and uh, I will show you really uh, the, the, uh, any of these possibilities in, in these games uh, when your opponent takes on with the queen on d4, not with the knight on d4. So here we have knight on f6. You see... If you play this move f6, it's not so good because uh, your opponent can play then bishop to c4 and this would be aiming here on this f7 so you wouldn't be able to castle kingside here and uh, of course possibilities are also to even break in the center uh, immediately with this move e5. So here I recommend you to play this uh, move knight on f6 and your opponent opponent will probably play this move e5 but now of course you you don't have uh, good squares for your knight if you go back uh, then your opponent will play 
e6 immediately so here you have this in between move knight on c6 and attacking the queen so if the queen go uh, the queen has uh, well not so many choices here to play uh, if the queen goes here maybe on h4 that could be a mistake because you can simply take now this this pawn on e5 your opponent will take on e5 and then you have uh, queen to a uh, a5 uh, with the check here and simply take attack take after that this this knight on on e5 so this is uh, a mistake that white can play in the opening so i want you really to memorize it but of course uh, your opponent uh, plays here uh, queen to uh, a4 and now you have to move your knight you play knight on d5 and uh, now the queen comes again uh, here on um, on e4 challenging your knight and the best move is here to play the move knight on b6 and uh, here kovalev uh, continued with this move knight on c3 so you see white has uh, the advantage in space here uh, this e5 is really a problem because it can be uh, also protected here uh, by bishop to f4 and uh, it will be really a problem if you don't solve it immediately uh, so you have to solve it with this move d5 you see you're challenging again the queen the queen has made many tempos and uh, of course uh, the queen won't uh, go s somewhere here so basically uh, white can take now en passant which happened in the game and uh, now comes this in between move again attack on the queen bishop to f5 so if your opponent takes now uh, takes now this uh, pawn here on e7 which is also attacking the queen you can simply go uh, and take it with the bishop so again the, the queen has to react and uh, if the queen comes now here uh, on e2 uh, you can simply here maybe even play immediately uh, uh, pardon me uh, immediately play knight on b4 challenging this uh, c2 which is really a problem and uh, or you can even here uh, castle kingside and then after that play rook to rook to e8 so you see uh, we have developed all of our pieces the queen has made several moves in the opening so which is not good we are already on the attack and it's a good compensation for the pawn for the sacrificed pawn that we we gave up in the opening and i hope you realize the activity of of black pieces here so it's really a nice a nice pawn sacrifice i really recommend you to play it so if you don't play as uh, uh, after here knight on c3 if you don't play this uh, this uh, uh, d5 your opponent can then play bishop to f4 and then and then uh, really fixing here this d6 uh, weakness so uh, after uh, d5 and uh, e takes uh, d6 we have uh, bishop to f5 and then the game was played queen to e2 so we have here now queen to d6 of course we have to take now but uh, here comes knight on b5 and here is a mistake that you can maybe make uh, you can uh, go maybe with the queen here on d7 or something but uh, then you have then your opponent has maybe here bishop to f4 with an attack here on 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 the c7 which is uh, really really a nasty threat and uh, in the game the best move uh, that played by tukmakov was uh, this queen to b8 so it's a little bit awkward here the queen but it will uh, the queen will come into the game because basically now if your opponent plays bishop to f4 uh, we have then immediately here maybe uh, even uh, of course bishop to f4 is not possible that's uh, that was uh, what i'm trying to say so we have here uh, a knight on d4 knight takes on d4 knight takes on d4 and here bishop to uh, d d7 controlling this knight again uh, that it doesn't allow again this knight to go on b5 but you see we're perfectly fine in this opening uh, we we are now uh, two moves from fully development we can play bishop uh, to g7 and castling and uh, we have here again good uh, good center control with the spawn and it's really not a problem so you see you get really better out of this line uh, you see your opponent uh, didn't uh, created this h4 h5 attack so far uh, so we avoided this uh, this yugoslav attack and it's not possible really anymore to play this yugoslav attack you will see why also in this game so we have now bishop 
into g5. Now comes knight on d5, uh, protecting this e7, and uh, we have uh, queenside castle. Again, uh, you see white is desperate, uh, desperately trying to transpose into this Yugoslav attack, but it's really not possible anymore. So we have here now h6. Uh, now comes knight on b, uh, knight on b5, uh, which is of course attacking, attacking this knight, and we have now bishop to c6. Very nice, very nice protection. Uh, a c4 move here by 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 um, by white, although it's really possible, but it would be really weakening uh, weakening this uh, uh, castle king on this queen side because we have then immediately knight on b4, which is challenging here this a2 pawn so we have ne now uh, uh, bishop to e3 so now uh, the bishop can be developed by on g7 as, as planned of course and we have now bishop to d4 now comes castling a trade of bishops and we have here king to g7 uh, let's see the position now we got out of the opening it's perfectly fine now so far you see white uh, hasn't developed this bishop the queen blocked it out from the development we have a nice central control of the spawn we have the bishop on a nice diagonal and we have the queen that must somehow go out uh, but of course it's uh, also uh, supporting here uh, potential e5 and then we can maybe play f5 and get get a nice nice center control with these two pawns here and this would be a nice pawn structure in the in the in the middle game so we have here now knight on d4 mm, attacking this bishop but uh, after e5 and knight takes on uh, c6 we have b takes on c6 and uh, this knight is still still good placed uh, because uh, we have already uh, also opened now this b file which is aiming here on this b2 and again i'm pointing out a potential c4 move isn't good because we have knight on b4 so probably white's not gonna uh, weaken his king uh, his castle king anymore so in the game was played g3 so he's trying to develop through bishop to g2 of course and we have now rook to e8 supporting this e5 which will then liberate the queen from the defense of this e5 we have bishop to g2 and now uh, we have e4 of course the bishop cannot take because we would then have f5 and pin pin the bishop on the queen and uh, get get the piece up so we have now a queen to c4 and now comes uh, knight on f6 uh, we are giving up here this uh, c c6 it's uh, really not a problem because you have then rook to c rook to c8 and then we would really create an attack with with this uh, heavy pieces with this queen and the rooks on the c uh, b and a file so it's really uh, it would be really a nice pawn sacrifice again so Tukmakov played really aggressive here he left the, the defense of this c6 so we have here now rook to from uh, h to e1 uh, queen to b6 attacking also this f2 and now comes uh, queen to f uh, queen to d4 but you see uh, black isn't uh, interested here to to trade the queens because in a potential end game uh, it would be it would be better here uh, if, uh, if for white of course if uh, black trades the queens because then the rook comes also into the attack here on this uh, very weak um, e4 so of course tukmakov played c5 uh, now uh, queen to c3 which is uh, well the queen is staying here on this diagonal so it doesn't allow here this knight to play but we have here now a uh, king to g8 uh, of course you see the the queen is protecting this knight on f6 and we have now a3 we're getting some breathing space for the king we have rook to e6 of course the idea is here now to get this other rook and uh, support this uh, this pawn that is already advanced on the on the fourth rank here on the other side of the board so then we could maybe play even uh, e3 so now we have rook to d2 and now comes this idea rook from a to e8 we have now bishop to h3 you see it's not so easy for the bishop to play because after rook to uh, e4 
uh, there is no simple uh, good moves here for the bishop maybe bishop to d7 but then we have again uh, rook to d7 there is no good play while the knight can somehow get into the game maybe even through d5 so we have now this other rook comes on the e file d file this uh, rook from uh, rook from e to d1 and we have now e3 the breakthrough in the center finally for black uh, you see he he's really breaking now the position and here comes uh, f takes on e3 and we have here knight on e5 e4 attacking the queen and the rook which is a fork of course we have the queen to c4 and uh, here of course the Kmakov took took the knight on d uh, the rook on d2 we have rook takes on d2 and we have now rook takes on e3 and after b3 here is uh, where white resigned and uh, this was of course now a winning position a winning position for black so um, here i wanted to really memorize want you to really memorize this line so after uh, c takes on d4 and the queen takes on d4 uh, knight on f6 uh, after e5 you have knight on c6 uh, queen to a4 uh, this is uh, still a common line knight on d5 uh, queen to e4 knight on b6 knight on c3 and now this d5 immediately so uh, i've already shown you what happens if the opponent takes after uh, Ampassan on d6 and uh, if uh, if your bishop comes to f5 if uh, the opponent takes now this pawn on e7 you can simply take with the bishop and uh, this will be really really a uh, nice attack uh, it's a good compensation compensation for for uh, the pawn uh, i hope you realize what i'm trying to say this is a more aggressive line for you it doesn't allow uh, your opponent to go in this Yugoslavia the attack that I've already uh, shown you from this Karyakin uh, versus Magnus Carlsen game and uh, it doesn't allow him to go in this attack uh, s well so early uh, basically here he had had to play many moves with the, with the Queen and I I think it's a better line for you to memorize against this uh, while playing of course against e4 so uh, of course you can also watch my king's indian videos which is the preparation to play uh, against d4 so meanwhile thanks you for watching guys and chess is the best of course